happen that no scientific studies have shown significant numbers of reinfections of patients previously infected or previously vaccinated, what specific studies do you cite to argue that the public should be wearing masks well into 2022? I'm not sure I understand the connection of what you're saying about masks and reinfection. We're talking about people who have never been infected before. You're and telling everybody to wear a mask, whether they've had an infection or a vaccine. What I'm saying is they have immunity and everybody agrees they have immunity. What studies do you have that people that have had the vaccine yeah. or have had the infection are spreading the infection? If we're not spreading the infection, isn't it just theater? No, it's not. You had the vaccine and you're wearing two masks. Isn't that theater? No, that's not. Here we go again with the theater. Let, let, let's get down to the facts. Okay, the studies that you quote from Crotty and Sete look at in vitro examination of memory immunity, which in their paper they specifically say this does not necessarily pertain to the actual protection. It's in vitro. And what study Very, can you point to that shows significant let, reinfection? There are no studies that show just significant let, let, reinfection. Just let me finish the response to your question, if you please. The other thing is that when you talk about reinfection and you don't keep in the concept of variance, that's an entirely different ball game. That's a good reason for a mask. In the South African study conducted by J&J, &J, they found that people who were infected with wild type and were exposed to the variant in South Africa, the 351, it was as if they had never been infected before. They had no protection. So when you talk about reinfection, you've got to make sure you're talking about wild type. I agree with you that you very likely would have protection from wild type for at least six months if point you're infected. The, but we in our country though, now have variants that are circulating. Significant reinfection. What study shows significant reinfection, hospitalization, and death after either natural infection or the vaccine. It doesn't exist. There is no evidence that there are significant reinfections after vaccine. In fact, I don't think we have a hospitalization in the United States after the two week period after the second vaccination. We yeah, don't you have a death in the United States. You're not hearing what I'm saying about variants. We're talking about wild type versus variants. And what, now, proof is there, what proof is there that there are significant reinfections with hospitalizations and death from the variants? None in our country, zero. Well, because we don't have a prevalent of a variant yet. We're having one, can I finish? We're well, having one one seven conjecture. that's becoming you're more dominant. Policy based on conjecture. No, you it, have the it isn't based that we're on going conjecture. To get variants, so you some you want people to wear a mask for another couple of years. No, you've been vaccinated and you parade around in two masks for show. No, you can't get it again. There's almost there's virtually zero percent chance you're going to get it, and yet you're telling people with them that have had the vaccine who have immunity. You're defying everything we know about immunity by telling people to wear a mask who've been vaccinated. No. Instead, you should be saying. There is no science to say we're going to have a problem from the large number of people being vaccinated. You want to get rid of vaccine hesitancy? Tell them they can quit wearing their mask after they get the vaccine. You want people to get the vaccine? Give them a reward instead of telling them that the nanny state's going to be there for three more years and you got to wear a mask forever. People don't want to hear it. There's no science behind it. Well, let me just state for the record that masks are not theater. Masks are protective. And we you have ask immunity you, there, theater. If you already have immunity, you're wearing a mask to give comfort to others. Senator you're Paul, not you're wearing a mask because of like any Dr. sign. Fauci, I, I totally you, disagree with you. Dr. Fauci, if you could respond so that we could understand the difference between the uh, virus itself and the variants and the reason for a mask. I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't hear If you could um, respond to the question so that we could all understand the difference between the vaccine in uh, controlling the wild type versus the variants that are out there and the reason for wearing a mask, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, yes. First of all, when you have a variant, you have an immunity that you get with convalescent sera and the same sort of thing. If I vaccinate you or me against the wild type, you get a certain level of antibody that's specific for a particular viral strain. If there's a circulating variant, you don't necessarily have it. You have some spillover immunity to be sure, but you diminish by anywhere from two to eightfold the protection. 
So the point I'm saying is that there are variants in now circulating. The point that Senator Paul was making was that if you look at wild type only, there is some clear cut credence to what he's saying. But we are living right now in a situation where we're having a dominance of 117, which was the original UK. We have a very troublesome variant in New York City, a 526. We've got two variants in California, a 427, 429, and we have a number of others. So we're not dealing with a static situation of the same virus. That was the only point I'm making. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.